What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. And you already know what I need you to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel. If this is your first time, I already know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops, and you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You are in the right place. Man, listen, I'm ready to get into this video today. This video is going to help you today. This video is going to get your mind back on track so you can achieve and so that you can accomplish God's purpose in your life. Now, one of the quickest ways, the quickest way to have your God given purpose derailed is to chase the love and affection of a woman that is not what you're supposed to be doing. Do not chase the love and affection of a woman. You are a man and you are supposed to attract all things to yourself by being planted and cemented in God. You are to attract all things to yourself by being planted and cemented in God, when you chase the love and affection of a woman, your whole life is going to go away. These are facts. This is what is going to happen when you begin to pursue the love and affection of a woman. What's going to happen is that woman is going to flee from you. She's going to run from you consciously or unconsciously. What you're chasing is going to be ahead of you. It's going to be something that you're going to have to keep grasping at. Chasing the love and affection of a woman, bro, is like trying to chase after the wind. You're chasing after the wind, meaning your efforts are futile. Your efforts are futile when you chase the love and affection of a woman. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 31, not to give your strength unto women, nor to submit your ways unto, unto ways that destroyeth kings. Chasing women, chasing love and affection from women is the number one killer of your God given destiny. Because what happens when you chase the love and affection of a woman? You begin to change. You begin to morph into what you think that woman wants you to be. You try to fit into the mold of what you believe her perception of you is. At the moment you start doing that, you've lost as a man. You've lost as a man. And the number one driver in you chasing the love and affection of a woman is because you are not cemented in God. You are not rooted in God and you are elevating the created thing over the creator. You are putting more value and substance on the thing that is created rather than placing that value on the creator. Because here's the thing. If God made her, he can make her and her and her and her. And he will not leave you without your needs being fulfilled. But you have to put your faith and trust in Christ. You have to put your faith and trust in God's word. You have to lock down your principles and your morals. You have to have moral excellency. Ethical excellency. You need these things in order to achieve your God-given purpose. You need your virtues. But when you spew away your God-given energy to chase after the wind. Chasing women is like chasing after the wind. Chasing women is like trying to catch cats. It's like chasing cats. You're all over the place. It's very, very unpredictable. You're throwing yourself out there for no reason 
A man should never be in a position to where he's chasing a woman. Now, I get it. You might have a girl, a woman that you love, might even be your wife, but don't even chase her. You stand firm in God's principles. It doesn't mean that you don't treat your your woman good. That's not what this means. It means that you don't fall back on what you know your God-given purpose is. It means that you don't peel away at your belief systems, right? You don't, you don't change who you are as a person unless you are unless who you are as a person is, is is bad like if you have some really bad habits like you're a drunk or you know you're um you know you're an adulterer or something like that but it, you, you don't change who you are as a person god made all of us unique we all have a special it about us that no one is ever going to be able to replicate don't give your power away by chasing after women, because I'm going to tell you something. There is a woman out there who's going to love and respect who you are, but don't allow your impatience. Don't allow your lack of what you feel a woman provides in your life. Don't allow that to cause you to chase women, because when you chase, chase women, really what it is, is you're desperate. You're desperate. You're desperate for love and attention. Don't chase women. Chase God. Seek after God. Run after God. The Bible says that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. You should be seeking God. Seek God. Don't chase women. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and all of these things, he says, will be added unto you. The problem is, is we don't have patience. We want what we want and we want it now. But God doesn't work on our timing. That's the that's the difference between God and man. God says that a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. But as human beings, we don't view time in that capacity. We don't view it like that. And I think that causes us to become impatient, causes us to not want to trust God, causes us to feel like we have to step in and do something in order to speed up the process or order to get things popping because God isn't moving fast enough for us. We're all victims. I'm a victim of that. I'm guilty of that. But if you're going to accomplish your dreams, your goals and your purpose, you have to stay focused and you have to stay connected to God. You have to stay on your mission. Shout out to everybody who wished me congratulations on 5000 subscribers. If you if, if you are a part of the whole my nuts family, man. Hit the subscribe, hit the, hit, the, hit the like button for your boy. Hit the like button for your boy. I think this is my first video after crossing the 5,000 subscriber mark. I just started this channel February of 2022, and we're already at 5K. So thank you for all of your support. Back to the video. This YouTube channel is me realizing my God-given purpose. I am supposed to be on this microphone. I am supposed to be sharing what God has showed me about these things. Semen retention, no fat, the spirituality behind being sexually immoral, the implications of that, the benefits of being aligned with God and putting to death the deeds of the body, fasting and praying and progressing in life, winning spiritual battles. I could have let females get me off of my purpose. And God knows they tried. God knows they tried to get me off of my purpose. God knows the temptations have come. The temptations are here. 
They're still here. The only difference is God has showed me how to war spiritually. I'm stronger than what I used to be. Even though I'm stronger than what I used to be, I put no confidence in the flesh. This is a day by day thing. I put no confidence in the flesh. See, when you chase women, when you chase after love, what you're doing is you're putting confidence in the flesh. You're thinking that your efforts to win this woman over, you think that your efforts to win this woman over is going to make a change, is going to get things the way you would like them to be. But God is saying, nope. He's saying no. He's a lot of times you don't even realize it. But when you're chasing that woman and you can't seem to capture her, you can't seem to subdue her. A lot of the times, bro, it's God. He's causing her to continue to flee from you. He's causing her to run from you because he wants you to run to him. You can't allow a person to hold your life in the balance. You can't. You can't, bro. Chasing after women is like chasing after the wind. You're trying to capture the wind with your hands. You can't. You have to put your faith and trust in God. Not in your ability to be persuasive, not in your ability to be able to provide, not in your ability to be able to do whatever it is you think you're special at or whatever gifts you think you have. You can't put your faith and trust in those things. You have to put your faith and trust in God, because when you begin to chase women, your life will deteriorate. Your life will go down the tubes. You will not accomplish your dreams. You will not accomplish your goals. Wherever you are, you won't be where you're supposed to be. You'll always be behind the eight ball. You'll never be in a position to where you're excelling in life because you're taking your, your energy, your thought capacity, and you're allowing that to be consumed by an individual. A lot of you guys may be going through breakups, a lot of you guys may be going through divorce. What I would suggest you do is pray and fast. A lot of times when you're going through these things, these are spiritual things that are happening to you. And if you're not careful, your emotions will cause you to do things that you wouldn't normally do. You got to be able to control your emotions one of the best ways, actually, not, I'm not going to say one of the best ways. The best way to control your emotions is to build yourself up spiritually through prayer and fasting. There's no easy way to this. There's no easy way around this. Prayer and fasting is what you have to do because you got to understand something. What the devil wants to do is he wants to take your life circumstances and use those circumstances to get you to doubt God I was watching the matrix last night with my daughter and every time I watch the movie the matrix I pick up on something that is an amazing movie that is an amazing movie. When I watch The Matrix, I always pick up on something. And one of the things that I picked up on was when Morpheus had been captured by the agents and Neo had received the message from the Oracle that he was going to have to make a decision between his life and Morpheus's life. And they were about to pull the plug on Morpheus. And Neo was like, nah, I think I can save him. I think I can save him. And so they were trying to tell him like, nah, those agents, man, they're going to get you. Agents being demons, they're going to get you, bro. Don't do it. We all love Morpheus, man. But, you know, he got caught up. He was like, nah, 
I'm going. And the one of the key things that Neo said, he said, I know it looks impossible. That's what he said. He said, I know it looks impossible, but it's not. And what stuck out to me about that statement was when you see life circumstances, the circumstances are there to create doubt. You got to understand the real is in the spiritual. The real is the matrix. The real is the projection of what is not real. What you see in the realm of the spirit, that's what's real. And Neo was like, nah, man, I know what it looks like, but that's not how it is. He goes in and he saves. He saves Morpheus. He didn't allow the circumstances to dictate his faith. A lot of times when we're in relationships, especially relationships that we want to work out, the circumstances tell us one thing. And if we begin to believe what the circumstances are communicating to us, then it will dampen our faith. It will cause our faith to diminish. And the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you have to get yourself to a level of spirituality to where you believe what you see in the spirit, what God shows you through signs and wonders, what God shows you in your dreams. You want to believe those things because God is telling you that those things, that's what's real. That is the will of heaven. Don't allow your circumstances. Don't allow life's situations to dictate to you what the situation really is. I know some of you are probably going through it. Right. And it doesn't look good. It looks bad. It looks like there's no way out of it. It looks like there's no way to escape the madness. It looks like it, it, it may feel like a nightmare that you're never going to be able to wake up from. That's what it may feel like. But if you allow the circumstance to change and dictate what you already know God promised you, or showed you about any particular situation, you're going to impede on your ability to receive that manifestation from heaven because it's impossible to please God without faith. You have to have faith. And the the reality of it is, is that when you see in the spirit, that's that's the evidence right there. Don't chase women. I don't care how they made you feel and how much you love them and how much you love it. Don't chase them. Because when you begin to chase them, those circumstances are going to become more and more and more disheartening. And then you're going to start to believe the circumstances and that's going to derail you off of your God given path. I want you guys to become millionaires. I want you guys to become billionaires. I want you guys to go and start organizations and save souls. I want you to go and deliver men. Jesus said that he will make us fishermen of men, meaning we will fish men. We will capture them from out of the snare of the fowler. We would capture those men. We're going to capture those men. That's what we're doing here on Hold My Nuts podcast. We're capturing men. We're fishing for men. We're fishing for men to pull them out of the traps and the schemes and the plans of the enemy. Listen, man, I love you. And I want you to know that chasing women is going to ruin your 
life. There's no sugarcoating it. Whatever woman you're chasing, I want you to stop immediately. Whoever you're chasing and putting your efforts and energy into convincing her about you, stop. Focus on God. Focus on your purpose and allow God to elevate you, man. This is Home on this podcast, man. I hope you got value out of this video. Smash that like button for your boy. I'm out.